we are back. So the Columbus Crew played New York City FC uh, yesterday. And I said in my last video that Caleb Porter either had to adjust or he had to go. And this was a big time adjustment. Uh, the crew seemed to play with a completely different mindset, a completely different mentality in this match, especially in the second half. That's when we, you started to notice uh, how they changed up, how they were playing uh, with a lead. And even when they they got it tied up, how they played to keep trying to score a goal. But we're getting a little, a little ahead of ourselves here. Uh, it did not start out looking very good. In the third minute, uh, New York City FC shot, uh, you know, directs off of Jonathan Mensah, up over Eloy Room. It is awarded as an own goal, and that happened in the third minute of the game. So, with the two uh, Montreal goals occurring in the 88th and 94th minute, and this goal happening in the third minute, that means that in the last nine minutes of play, the crew had given up three goals. That is not good. Uh, that's, that's gross. That is disgusting. That is vomit-inducing. And it definitely could have sunk the game right out of the gate. And for the first 10 minutes, the crew seemed all out of sorts. Uh, there were multiple opportunities for New York FC to get maybe another goal in there, make it 2-0 and completely set this one off the rails before it even starts. But the crew do settle down. They get some possession going. They get some stuff going in, their, uh, in New York's half. And Cucho Hernandez, with a primary assist from uh, Luis Diaz and a beautiful secondary from Lucas Zellerayan, uh, scores at the 20th minute. It ties the game. It makes the it, it makes the game feel completely different than it did at the beginning, where you know the you know it's Murphy's law for the crew at the moment. They're they're a dumpster fire on defense. Everything's going wrong, but they settle it down. They keep momentum going. They keep pushing, and they get the equalizer at the twentieth minute. Uh, you know uh, Zeller, and then you know some time goes past, and Lucas Zellerayan with another primary assist from Luis Diaz scores in the twenty seventh minute off of a New York City giveaway, and New York City gave up a lot of giveaways, and not not like, you know, decent ones at mid midfield either. They gave up prime chances to the crew uh, multiple times on giveaways, and it, it was kind of a sloppy game for them offensively in their own half for New York City, but the crew will take it. They have a 2-1 lead. Uh, Eloy Room had a big save at the 37th minute. Uh, Kujo Hernandez rang a shot off of the crossbar and out of play in the, thir in the 43rd minute, excuse me. Uh, so the crew went into the half up 2-1, and this was eerily similar to the game against Montreal on Wednesday that ended with a big fart uh, when they went up at the half by one, proceeded to basically park the bus and just kind of let Montreal get chance after chance after chance, and eventually that bit them in the butt uh, at the end of the game. However, this second half, you knew from the get-go would go uh, very much differently. The crew had very good possession and good stuff offensively early in the half. Uh, Artur, he was recovering from injury. He was subbed out for Aiden Morris at the 56th minute. In the 67th minute, 67th, 62nd minute, excuse me, uh, Derek Etienne had a shot. And then another uh, New York City giveaway gave Kucho Hernandez a prime chance that was uh, stopped. You don't want to give him too many. He had already scored once. Uh, didn't he? He wouldn't score again for the rest of the match, but he would. His presence would be felt uh, by New York FC. Uh, but in the 64th minute, just two minutes later, uh, New York City FC would equalize it at two. At uh, it goes off of Aiden Morris, another redirect. However, it was not uh, awarded an own goal on that one. Uh, so again, a couple of in hockey they'd be greasy goals. Just kind of you kick it to the net and it kind of goes off of somebody and it's in the net. And hey, it's a tie game. The crew were definitely playing like the better team. Uh, New York just got kind of the benefit of some weird bounces, uh, some some fortunate deflections going their way, and you have a tie ball game. Uh, but once again, this is where that different mentality than they went in with uh, Montreal uh, played in. They weren't just trying to settle for the tie. You knew immediately when that second half began that they were gunning for that third goal. You know, uh, Eloy Room with a huge save at the 67th minute to keep it tied. And again, Zellerayan gets a shot at the 68th minute, just a minute later, that's saved. And in the 75th minute, uh, after a Zellerayan free kick set piece that, you know, Zellerayan goes nuts against New York City FC. I don't know what it is. He just goes nuts against them. Uh, but in the 75th minute, he had a free kick set piece. The free kick itself didn't go in, but the crew kept possession. Uh, Luis Diaz, who had a third primary assist, but it, it was more of a shot that got deflected off of a New York City defender. But the goalie had reacted to that shot, and Lucas Elrond had pretty much an empty net. Uh, that's he's going to make that shot a hundred times out of a hundred, and the crew go up three to two with about 15 minutes plus stoppage time left. 
and you know the crew again they didn't uh park the bus they didn't just let new york city walk all over them in their own half and get opportunities they kept uh pushing for the pressure although eloy room uh would save a shot from a streaking uh new york city sub at the 78th minute he would stay down on the pitch uh for a little while trainers went out there they were like doing like the the spray ice on his on his legs or whatever I, he looked like limping and the backup goalie was putting the gloves on, uh, but Eloy Room would stay out there and he seemed to be fine for the rest of the match. Uh, Luis Diaz having a tremendous game. He had three primary assists. That's already a good game, but you can just tell he was flying all over the pitch. Uh, he drew a yellow card at the 82nd minute. That wasn't the only yellow card that he drew. It just that he was still drawing yellow cards that at that stage in the game that late. It, it just kind of highlighted how much of a you know baller game he was having you know he might actually be the MVP of this game I know Cujo Hernandez and Zeller Ryan you know they, they scored the goals and they're the bigger names but Luis Diaz really was a, a valuable player for the crew yesterday and then in the 88th minute uh, New York City gets a corner which you know was a deja vu to just on Wednesday when Montreal tied the game on a 88th minute corner and it was bad and they end up losing but uh, New York City's that corner doesn't do anything the header goes wide and it's a goal kick uh, Diaz and Cucho are subbed out for Egbekemi and Hurtado respectively in the late in the stage of the game uh, 89th and 90th minute just to be specific and the crew hold off some nerve-wracking New York City set pieces late they win three to two after seven minutes of stoppage time in the second half uh, that you needed that win especially after what happened on Wednesday again Caleb Porter seemed to really adjust uh, the, the team's strategy for how to handle a second half lead. And that's what I want it to be throughout now. You know, even when they got up three to two with only 15 minutes left, they kept trying to get possession in the other team's half and tried to limit chances for New York City by keeping the ball on offense and not just letting them get it and try to turtle around the goal or anything. They really stepped up their game. Again, they, they, tr they weren't necessarily gunning, gunning in all, you know, full the balls to the wall to get that another goal the fourth goal but they were trying to keep the ball on offense so that you know New York City can't get the ball on offense themselves you know sometimes your best defense is a good offense and I think the crew kind of employ that strategy late now again New York City FC did press they're the second best team in the east so they're going to get some chances they're going to get set pieces late in the game if they're really pushing for it uh, but the crew did what they have to and they got three points out of it that's an amazing win You'll take that every day of the week. You'll take that for every game. And if the crew can apply this mindset of always trying to attack and always trying to be on, always trying to get pressure on the other team in the offensive zone, even even if it doesn't amount to a goal necessarily, if you're holding that one goal lead and you're just trying to uh, hold on to the ball and not let the other team you just walk all over you in your own zone, then I think the crew could have a great rest of the season and have a real fighters chance at the playoffs if Couture Hernandez and Lucas El Rayon are just going to go beast mode and the team's going to allow them to do that then I I don't have any questions about how this crew team can compete against you know the elite teams in this league the crew might not win the championship that way but if you know again if Lucas El Rayon and Couture Hernandez are going to ball out then they at least have a shot against anybody and that's just how I feel Thank you all again for watching. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, uh, please feel free to like and subscribe. Let me know how you felt about this game against New York City FC for the crew uh, and their season moving forward. Uh, thank you all again for watching and I'll see you with the next one.